to use the full lithium iron phosphate cells. The model with 32,706,000 ma, a 3D ampere hour protection board, connecting brackets, fish paper, insulating pads, and high temperature tape. These components can be assembled into a 12 volts battery pack. First, apply a layer of fish paper. After applying the insulating pads, secure the 32,650 and 32,700. The advantage of using holders is that using holders also improves insulation durability. Arrange them in a full series configuration. Since the standard voltage of lithium iron phosphate cells is 3 point volts, if it were lithium ion batteries, you would only need 3 series. Next up is the essential welding tool, spark welder. This one is modified from a microwave island transformer. Prepare some nickel strips to connect the lithium batteries. Cut the nickel strips according to the distance between the two electrons. For connecting the batteries in series, you need use the nickel strips to connect the positive and negative during welding. Ensure that the weld points are secure. A work after serial connection, then measure the voltage between. Next, install the protection board. Secure the protection board onto the battery pack. Using heat resistant double sided sponge tape, install the protection board in a position. Next, solder the balance wires. Connect each series of batteries to the. This allows the protection board to monitor the voltage of each series of batteries. If the voltage of any series of batteries is abnormal, the, the battery pack cannot be fully charged during use, or if it charges quickly and stops outputting. It indicates that there is an issue with one of the series of batteries, causing the protection board to trigger its protective function. Therefore, before assembling the lithium battery pack, the cells must be matched for capacity and internal resistance. Ensure consistency in capacity, internal resistance. This ensures better performance and longevity of the entire. When soldering for nickel strips that need to bridge, nib up them with high temperature tape or place fish paper underneath. Use epoxy boards or other insulation materials for insulation. These materials share the common characteristics. High temperature this helps prevent insulation damage and reduces the risk of short circuit fires. After connecting the balance wires, let's wrap the entire battery pack's electrodes with insulation. This helps prevent short circuits during use. Now the entire battery pack is essentially complete. Before that, we can first test whether some protection boards need to be charged. In the Testing the protection board for output confirms that it's functioning properly. Finally, we perform charge and discharge tests on the battery pack. If everything checks out fine, then the battery pack is complete.